Hello everyone, welcome to my young and the restless official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video thumbs up. Laura Lee Bell would like you to be aware of this crucial fact about her. The actress who has played Christine on The Young and the Restless for longer than some viewers have been alive asserts, I do know how to smile. She's been really serious the past few years, so I'm sure there are people in the audience who have never seen the corners of my mouth turn up. Granted, especially lately, the former cricket hasn't exactly had cause to smile. She's been something of a bummer, Bell chuckles, between failing to put longtime nemesis Phyllis behind bars and discovering that estranged husband Paul has zero interest in working on their marriage. But something is changing, and it could begin with Thursday, November 2's episode that centers on Christine. In a way, this will serve as a reminder for certain viewers that Christine was enjoyable in the past, says Belle in her preview. I was recently reminded of Danny and Cricket's carefree and youthful age when watching old videos with Michael Damien. Viewers have been reminded of that lightheartedness with Danny back in town. There's just something about Michael, says the character he formerly dated. I'm really hoping that as they spend more time together, Christine will catch some of Danny's positive energy as his smile brightens the entire room. She needs to resume having fun. Naturally, that won't happen overnight, especially in light of the fact that Paul essentially dissolved their relationship during her recent vacation to Portugal. The episode, which is meant to honor Belle for giving life to Chris for 40 years, touches on a lot of history with both Paul and Danny. In addition to enjoyable flashbacks, there is introspection. Discuss the decisions we make as we go. Consider this. One of the few prominent soap opera characters who has never given birth is Christine. Belle asks, that's pretty unusual, right? I would really love to see more research done on that. The fact that she deliberately chose to concentrate on her job. Does she regret doing that? I believe that a lot of people can identify with that, the feeling of wondering what may have occurred if you had chosen this course rather than that in life. In all honesty, Belle was not in favor of the show doing an episode that focused solely on Chris. She acknowledges, I'm not the kind of person who needs or really wants the attention. Nevertheless, she can't wait for people to see what Josh Griffith, the head writer, came up with. It differs slightly from what these kinds of items typically are. Chris doesn't just say, oh, remember when this happened, and then a flashback is shown. More of a story is told. There are more characters in the story, and we also get to witness things from their viewpoint. Other people includes Nina, played by Trisha Cast. Belle gets excited, saying, you can't talk about Christine's past without Nina. I'm delighted Lauren and Nina are there because I love watching female friendships on soap operas. Belle has ideas on what she would like to see, even if she is unsure of what her alter ego would do next. It would be intriguing to see Christine and Michael Baldwin reunited in a legal partnership. It could be interesting to investigate their convoluted past and peculiar working connection. Danny too. She teases. We'll have to see where that goes adding that anything can happen because Phyllis is also on the canvas. Phyllis would never just watch from the sidelines, no matter what was going on. That's hard to imagine. Watch to learn about all the drama taking place in Geno City. Weekly Y and R spoilers update for November 3, 2023. Sneak peek there will be a wake-up call and a lot of hardball played this coming week. Watch closely the next week to witness the entire activity in Geno City. After Victor recruited Adam to work with him at Newman Enterprises, Adam saw a drawing his father had done. Even though Claire tried to get closer to Nikki, it seemed as though she was obsessed with the Newman family. Sharon suggested that Nick resolve his differences with Sally's business, while Chloe urged Sally to make amends with Nick. And irritated after Nikki told Nick about his plan, Victor told her he couldn't trust her, and Nick pushed Victor to be honest. Victoria was informed by Nate that Adam was in Victor's chair at Newman Enterprises. Adam took matters into his own hands after making fruitless attempts to persuade Nick to assist him with their father. Lily, Danny Phyllis, and Daniel shared a lunch. 
As Christine went back home, this resulted in a quarrel between Daniel and Lily, as well as flames between Danny and Phyllis. Kyle informed Audra that he was prepared to assist her in taking over Jabot with Tucker. When Ashley arrived, she disturbed Jack and Billy with her plot to bring down Tucker and pledged to try not to hate Diane. Victor was urged by Nick and Nikki to be honest with Victoria about his alleged mental illness. When Christine finally told Danny that she and Paul were divorcing, Adam told Sally that his entire dramatic life transformation had been a ruse. Nick informed Victoria and Sharon about Victor's plan. Victor irritated Nikki for making Victoria anxious. At last, Victor called Nate to the ranch and made a secret oath with him. After telling Sally about his worries regarding Victor, Adam and Sally ended themselves in bed. Victor swore the previous doctor to secrecy and revealed in Nate that he was concerned about his mental degeneration. Nick and Victoria talked about their father's falsehoods, and Nikki gave them all comfort that everything would be all right, at least for them. Ashley will confront Tucker in the near future, and by the end of the week, she will confess. What's going to be? But first, Jack grows impatient with Kyle, and he later turns to Ashley for assistance. Uncle Billy serves as a wake-up call for Kyle, and maybe it will make him examine himself more closely. Nick and Victoria are the targets of Victor's ongoing kid testing. Before all is said and done, he plays hardball with Nate. Make sure you click the link below to view the daily breakdown. Ashley questions Tucker about his transgressions. Many issues a directive to Nate. Jack can no longer stand Kyle. Jack asks Ashley for a favor. Audra irritates Kyle in a way. Devon exposes Tucker's deception. Victor gives Victoria and Nick a test. Billy is taken aback by Chelsea. Adam is abruptly awakened. As Laura Lee Bell marks her 40th anniversary, Christine looks back on her romantic relationships and former rivalry on the young and the restless. Victor and Nate engage in rough play. Ashley admits something. Billy awakens Kyle from his daze. The author expresses his own unique ideas about why and R. They're often spot on, reasonably funny, and appropriately biting. Every fan of The Young and the Restless, including Soap Hub, has an opinion of their own. We watched The Good, The Terrible, and everything in between for five days, and now we present to you a helpful summary and light-hearted assessment of why and ours past week. I adore a well-crafted love triangle. It's a traditional soap. But you can tell something is wrong when a writer has to fake a third of the atroir. Danny would never ever give human wrecking ball Phyllis the time of day, much less be on the verge of giving in to her attractions, as I explained in last week's column. Nevertheless, the moments starring Danny and Christine were pure nostalgia, and I have a cautious sense of optimism that we'll see more of them getting closer, preferably without the help of a certain flame-haired danger. This show's fascination with business roulette is not as boring as the Newman clan's assumption that Adam is Satan personified. It has, if nothing else, made me once again support Adam and Sally. Speaking of Sally, perhaps she will soon be involved in a plot that doesn't require her to play the part of a prize to be won. Asterisk, asterisk, the fact that the powers that be seem determined to keep Chloe a one-note, anti-Adam shrew, instead of embracing Elizabeth Hendrickson's grandeur and giving her something meaningful never ceases to astound me. It's clear that management views Nicholas and Sharon as each other's ultimate goal, but it's difficult to follow the trend when it's also clear that one side of the equation isn't interested in going back to the well. Drama can only be extracted from the line, you sat in the boss's chair on Y and R. Well, Josh Griffiths by and R, anyhow. I'm revealing. Asterisk so, is Sharon's return to the business world just being dropped from the show? Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.